Hello everyone and welcome back. It is time for the annual NecoCon haul. Yay! <laughs> um, so NecoCon's come and gone. You will see the wild ride that is NecoCon in just a week or so. Um, I should have it up in a week. I'm pretty good about editing my con vlogs after the con. But you're not here for that. You're here for stuff. Uh, I bought, I bought a lot, um, including something that I probably shouldn't have, but, uh, I did it anyway. We're gonna start with the Artist Alley. So, the only, yeah, the only thing I bought in the Artist Alley is this Cure Milky print. I was so surprised! It's from Puka Parade. That's the watermark right there, the name of the artist. Um, I was so surprised. They had this print and they also had Cure Felice um, from Maho Sky and I was debating between the two but then it became no contest that I really should have just get Cure Milky because I love Cure Milky and I don't love Maho Sukai Precure that much even though I really love uh, Cure Felice's design, but I just thought this was really cute. And I've never seen anything Precure in the Artist Alley, like, ever, ever, even at Katsu, I've never seen Precure. So to see somebody do Precure art is thrilling to me. She's gonna go right on my wall because it's finally time that I add a new magical girl that's not Sailor Moon or Card Captor Soccer. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm really excited that I have Cure Milky. She's so cute. I love Lala so much. Even though she's not my favorite cure, I'm biased. <laughs> but I love Lala. She's so cute. She's so perfect. I love her. As for the dealer's room stuff, what should we start with first? We should start small. So at a booth that was selling something. I'm not entirely sure what. They had like a pile of keychains just on the corner of their booth. And they were like, keychains are $5, but if you buy two, they're eight. So I found two Precure ones. I, I bought Precure stuff. Like always. <laughs> I really just wanted this Pekka Ren one. I love Pekka Ren. She's one of my favorite mascots of like all of the mascots that I've seen um, out of all of the series. I really love Pekka Ren. I think she's so cute and so adorable. Her human form is nightmare fuel, and I hate it, <laughs> but I love her as her little fairy form. It's really cute, and I love it. And then I, I think this is Cure Fortune? I know she's from Happiness Charge. I've seen one whole episode of Happiness Charge because I made the stupid mistake of watching it, starting to watch it immediately after I watched Heart Catch and Happiness Charge and Heart Catch are very similar, but I'm waiting and as soon as I catch up on all of the things that I'm currently working on, which is catching up on the current Precure series, Star Twinkle, and catching up on Aikatsu, finishing Aikatsu Friends and starting Aikatsu on Parade, and I need to continue to watch the original series, then, then, once I finish the original Aikatsu series, I will finally start watching Heart Catch. Oh, not Hard Catch. I've already watched Hard Catch. Happiness Charge. Afterwards, I will finally start Happiness Charge. But yeah, so I got these two cute keychains. And I really love Pecorin, so I'm really excited to have Pecorin. I don't know where I'm going to put them. Unclear. But I love them. So I bought these. <laughs> and it was the last thing I bought on Sunday. <laughs> there was this really cute, like, stationary booth that had, like, a bunch of, like, other stuff, but I found these, actually re-found these, these wonderful socks <laughs> with Chibi Moon on them, <laughs> where the, her, her skirt is the heel, <laughs> so it's like her butt, <laughs> and I just think they're really stupid, <laughs> and doesn't match, it doesn't match the sense of style that I'm gonna go for, but I love these socks so much. So I bought them because they were like five, six dollars. So hopefully they fit my feet. I think they might, um, but they're really cute. If nothing else, they have Chibi Boon on them. Then also the first thing I bought on Sunday was this. Um, I haven't flipped through it yet, but it is a 
Magical Emmy coloring book. I have no idea if uh, it's been used and somebody, oh, it's like actually like cardstocky, the, the cover. I don't know if it's been used. I don't think it has. Oh no, it's like brand new. Look at all of the magical, there's a childish panty style. That's kind of creepy. Magical Emmy. But yeah, it's just a coloring book. Um, I was planning on getting like one of those like comic book protector like frames to frame her to go with the uh, creamy mommy uh, record that I got at CCE. I'm, I'm excited for this. I thought this was a, a neat purchase. I like, as you guys have seen and probably have noticed, I like collecting um, vintage Magical Girl stuff. So this is nice. It's, it's kind of rare to see uh, Magical Emmy stuff. Um, normally the vintage is usually like Creamy Mommy and like, of course, Sailor Moon. Um, so it's nice to see uh, Magical Emmy. This is a series that I've been wanting to watch, but I just haven't been able to find subtitles for it. Um, I know they exist. Other people have watched it, but I just don't know where to get them. But yeah, coloring book. The very first thing I bought in the uh, dealer's room. The moment I got there and I walked inside, I walked or started walking around, which the dealer's room this year seemed to be uh, lacking. I'm pretty sure it's because literally everyone was at AWA. Um, but, all right, after like five minutes of trying to get that together, whoo, It's the 15th anniversary of Futariwa Pre-Cure Figures. It's Cure Black and Cure White and they're like really pastel -y and really cute. I love them. Love them. They're on, they got like little candy hearts that say 15th anniversary. And their stands say 15th anniversary. They're so cute. And like they have their little outfits. I can only do this one at a time. But like, oh, I love it. Cure Black and Cure White are by far not my favorite cures. I've actually never finished Futari Wapri Cure. Um, it's one of those series that you have like a strong nostalgia for. If you saw it fairly early on in the pre cure days, uh, but it in my opinion, has not aged well, like, at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got these two because they were 15th anniversary. Actually, Cure White's leg is kind of loose and it's kind of bugging me and it's making me very upset because her leg's not supposed to come off. Um, but I got the last Cure Black. I actually got, like, the display one and then they just pulled out a box for Cure White. So, I'm excited to have these. They're very nice figures. I'm actually, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be like, hey, hey, we're together. We're looking at each other. Yay. But they're cute and I love them. So the biggest thing, um, how do I even begin to show you this? So, um, I bought a Lolita dress. It was expensive, <laughs> as you can probably guess by the fact that I said I bought a little beauty dress, but it's Halloween. <laughs> um, I've since put it on since getting home, and I'm not sure how I feel about it on me, but I don't have a full cord, and I'm not used to it yet, but it is, it's one of those things that the dress is very long, and like even on me, and I'm a tall girl, right? I, I'm 5'7". Uh, this comes past my knees, and so it's like kind of awkwardly long, and I don't know how it would fit like anyone shorter than me. Um, and I don't know if like the petticoat that I have, because I have like a me likes tea petticoat, but that petticoat may not be poofy, because I didn't get like a, a super poofy petticoat. Um, I had like a super casual one because I was like, oh, I'm not going to wear Lolita like ever, but I need something poofy for cosplay. But anyway, please enjoy this print. <laughs> it's obnoxious. I 
and I love it. <laughs> oh, so like, it's by Belladonna. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have heard of them. They go to a lot of conventions. I know they frequent NecoCon like every year, and I know I've seen them at Katsu. Um, but yeah, this is their Halloween print, and or like their Halloween dress, and I know they had it in a purple color because I ended up going to their Instagram like today to follow them and I saw that they had originally like on the display it was like a purple one and I think the purple one looks a lot better than the orange but also like I really love the orange it'll just be harder to coordinate but I will wear it I will wear it at least once before I decide things and I know I'm going to be super beginner but it's it's a JSK and it has like this little little goopy detail and it has some lace and all that detail. It has some lace there. But it is very, very long. Um, like I thought that, oh, it's going to be kind of long, but it'll be like a perfect length for me. But even on me, it's, it's very long. And I'm not sure how I feel about that because I, I don't like long things on me. It's just, it's hard for me, especially wearing dresses. I'm not used to wearing dresses. Like I wear cosplays that have dresses and skirts and that's fine. But if you may have noticed, a lot of them have like short skirts because I like showing off my legs type. Um, because if I cut, if I go below the knee, I start looking weird and I hate it. So it's going to take some getting used to, but I'm going to wear them because I spent a lot of money on it. So I will wear it at least once, hopefully twice. Maybe at Katsu, I'll actually have a, like a full cord or a little small cord, test the waters, and we're gonna go to town. But the thing that kind of sold me on it, like I love the print, but I wasn't sure. It has a bustle, and that's fun. I thought that was cute. So like this little lace bustle, it's really nice. It's fully sheared. Um, when I wear it, it feels tight, but I could definitely stretch it a lot more. Like, it's definitely, it's it's a snug and interesting fit. Um, I don't think the bust quite fits me, but also I'm not wearing a proper bra. So, um, it's interesting. And the straps have buttons to like undo them but like the actual rest of the strap doesn't have like buttons. See, doesn't have like buttons to adjust it. So I'm not sure how I feel about that either, but um, it's very cute and I like it a lot. I do like it. I will wear this. Just you wait. I will wear this. I won't know how I feel, but I will wear it. And if I end up not liking it, I will just sell the dress. And that's fun, because that's what it's about. You wear something until you don't like it, and then you sell it. Especially something like this, that's really well made. So this is everything I bought, exclusive, excluding one item, because I don't want it to be in the final shot, because it's a sequin, and the little Lita dress, because that's just too big to fit in here. Um, but yeah. Um, I did buy a present for Jay. I bought Jay a fox. Um, I think that's in the vlog. And then I also bought a dress after the con that I saw at the con that was sold out. And I just went online and bought it today. So, but yeah, this is everything I bought. Alright, and I'll see you guys next time.